Hi, and welcome to The Adventure of Mongo, the story of two guys playing through Dark Souls and trading off on deaths. Uh, let my buddy Jake do the actual character creation job since he seems to be so good at creating horrible abominations and character creators, so I figured that'd be pretty entertaining. As you can see here, it goes downhill pretty fast. We ended up with that. That beautiful Mongo face. Look at that forehead. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. <laughs> it might have been a mistake to let Jake do the character creation. Oh well. At least we, at least we ended up with a lovable retard with a heart of gold. Oh my god. He's even uglier undead. It's fucking horrible. But uh... Going back through here and recording this commentary in post since we were stupid and forgot to do the live recording during this intro part. I uh, figure I should leave it in there since it kind of explains how we end up in Blight Town right off the bat for no real clear reason. Uh, shit. Here's Jake getting used to the controls. He had never he had never played this game before. Um, we went through and played through Demon Souls together, and figured we just kind of do the same thing for Dark Souls. So so Jake's kind of used to the controls, in so far that he had played Demon Souls. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, he's just doing that to fucking show off Mongo's gross face. He's so proud of Mongo's gross ass face. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't tell him about about that trap. <laughs> I was kind of a dick. I, I didn't really tell him about about a lot of things. I didn't warn him to the dangers because I, I thought it would kind of ruin the experience. So I wanted I wanted him to go through the same shit I went through. Oh. Uh, here he is talking to Blue Shield, dude. Got fucked up trying to fight the asylum demon, probably. Uh, I was begging and pleading with Jake not to kill this guy. I was like, "Come on, dude! Don't, don't, don't kill him. He doesn't do anything. You know, he just gives you stuff and then dies." But Jake was like, "I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him." And then he killed him. What a fucking dick! And then the fucking knight lets out like the saddest why ever. And I mean, I was asking the same question. I was like, "Why would you do that? What? There's no reason to kill that guy." Uh, Jake didn't fall for the for the initial asylum demon kind of surprise because he had seen me play this tutorial part before and knew to run away right off the bat so stupidly trying to fight him with a broken sword. Jake Jake's doing doing okay, doing okay for the first first boss fight. I mean. Right now he's getting fucked up pretty bad, but for the most part, oh my god, that was super close. For the most part, he, he does a good job of rolling around and, you know, focusing on hitting it in the ass, which is pretty much the best strategy for this boss. Oh my god, he comes so, so close to dying so many times, but, but he's just too tenacious for the Asylum Demon. The Asylum Demon can't can't output that damage quite as fast as Jake can heal back up, so he ended up he ended up doing pretty good on this fight. Oh, that was a nice roll. I'm surprised that didn't hurt him. Well, that one did. <laughs> Fuck, roll up oh, there. There he did a good roll. You, you can tell he's played Demon Souls. Hell, after, after we beat Demon Souls together, he actually went through and beat it entirely by himself. I was pretty proud of him for, for being able to handle that. Come on, Jake. Got him on the ropes. Just finish him. There you go. Smack it in the ass. <laughs> He's still going at it. He's still going after his Kim Kardashian ass. And then he goes through and destroys every single fucking pot. I, I edited this part, but he really did stick around and break every single pot in this room before he left. 
I mean, there he goes again. He just can't stop. He just... He hates culture. Mongo is not a big fan of culture. And here we're going down to Ghost Town for... For reasons I don't quite remember. Um... Oh yeah, we're gonna get that fire keeper soul that's down here. I kept yelling at Jake not to kill these fucking innocent dudes. He didn't care. And then he ran off the stairs like a fucking idiot. <laughs> uh, I did not tell him about that either. You always gotta be careful, man. Stairs and dark souls and demon souls, they don't always lead to places. Sometimes they just lead to cliffs. Oh man, this this is me playing now. So I, I was kind of hypocritically uh, attacking these guys, and Jake was like, "Oh come on, man! You told me not to kill them guys." <laughs> uh, he he was not happy with my double standard. Pretty sure I get killed. Yep, got absolutely murdered by ghosts. This this is pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good at this game, huh? <laughs> uh, so this is Jake now trying to get that. Maybe it's still me. I don't think Jake knew where to go. Yeah, this is definitely still me because I'm tracking right for it. Jake must have given me a mulligan or something just to go get that firekeeper soul. And hey, I fall in the water and die. But at least I got that soul and I get to keep it. Oop. <laughs> gotta you gotta remember to to call the elevator back. Learn that learn that learn that lesson early, apparently. I don't know if we ever made that mistake again. I hope we didn't. It'd be embarrassing if we did, considering how how quickly we we ran into that problem. Okay, at this point I was kinda just kinda showing off. Just because I'm such a low level. Kind of cheesing these guys, you know, just running around them and stabbing them in the back. Not the most glorious way to kill them, but it got the job done. And Jake definitely couldn't have gotten through here without just straight up running past everyone, so. At least I did something. At least I killed them. But it's not like you really get much for killing these dudes other than dung pies, which. Jake formed a sick obsession around. Hmm. And here's us just kind of descending into the depths of Blight Town way too early, and then in an effort to sequence break and try to get some cool stuff fairly early in the game. It ended up being a pretty bad idea, as evidenced in the next video, but eh, what are you gonna do? Plus, since this is so early in the game, we have absolutely zero purple moss clump. So there's nothing we can do about this poison other than run back to the bonfire real quick. Every time we get poisoned, it's a race to, to not die. Pretty sure we gave up here, though. Pretty sure as soon as we get to the bonfire here, we give up. We're just like, whoop, we made it to Blight Town. Time to fuck off this garbage. Alright, yeah, the video cuts out right there, so that must be where we quit. Uh, so that's the end of this video. Be sure to watch the next one, which will actually have live commentary where we try to make it out of Blight Town and don't really do that good of a job at it. So, thanks for watching, and see you next time.